guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am so so excited we are doing another sephora shop with me these are my favorite type of videos to film because obviously i get to you guys along with me on my sephora trip and i get to pick out some things that i've been wanting on my little wish list and just like some random items that i see and i want to try out i already have a couple of these up on my channel i believe i have an ulta one and another sephora one so link those down below if you guys are interested but i'm so so excited to bring you guys along with me fingers crossed that this sephora i go to is nicely stocked because i feel like the last sephora's i've been to like the last month or so have been like completely wiped out with no stock i feel like it's the aftermath of christmas and new year's but yes i am all dressed got my little outfit on got my purse i'm ready to head out the door subscribe to my channel if you haven't already if you want to see videos like this i post every single week so without further ado let's head into sephora to get one of these Patrick Ta blushes but they barely have any of them in stock I wanted she's that girl and I think she's vibrant but they don't have any in stock so I'm super sad about that and of course all the summer Fridays lip balms and their new oils are completely sold out so love that always wanted to try something from Fable and Maine and i heard this pre-wash hair oil is really good so i kind of want to get this but i want to try to find the mini size i'm not sure if i'll like it enough let me know if you guys have tried anything from this fable main brand and let me know down below but i've heard really good things about it all of these colors are so pretty this one is the brazilian crush cheroso one and this one is my favorite light pink one is so good but yeah this is like the new one let me know if you guys have tried this they have so much sol de janeiro i feel like has expanded so much recently best eyebrow products i love the brow setter gel it's honestly the best and i also love using the eyebrow pencils i highly recommend them and they have so many new eyebrow products, I feel like, but this is like my favorite brow gel. These new Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks that I think they came out with for Valentine's Day look so good. I'm really interested in this Icon Baby one. So guys, you guys know this is my favorite blush, the Dew Blush by Say. They came out with three new colors, Baby, Sweetie, and Cutie. They're completely out of stock, which I'm so, so sad about. Literally one of my favorite liquid cream blushes like ever. So let me know if you guys have tried any of the new colors. Hey 
guys i am back from sephora as you guys saw i tried taking as many clips as i could it was so loud in there the music and honestly the stock was all right there was just like two things that i wanted as you guys saw the patrick ta blush i really wanted they only had like three colors um that were too dark for me so i'll definitely pick that up in the future but everything else i pretty much got what i wanted i even picked up two things that i wasn't expecting to get so Let's do a quick little Sephora car haul and I'll show you guys what I got. So this is pretty boring, so I'll get this out of the way. I just picked up more of this Duo Brush On Adhesive Eyelash Glue. This is my favorite one. This one is in the green packaging. I think you guys have seen these glues everywhere. I've been using this since like high school and I'm literally repurchasing one like every six to eight months. And the one I have right now is a little crusty dusty, so it was time to get a new one. And I honestly didn't even know they sold that at Sephora. I usually get mine at Target, so that was cool. I picked up that. And then, as you guys saw, I mentioned this in Sephora. This is by the brand Fable in Maine, and it's called the Pre-Wash Hair Oil. It's for stronger hair that begins with healthy roots. And you basically just put this in your hair before you're going to wash your hair. They recommend like 30 minutes to an hour, but I've seen reviews that they do it for like a couple hours. Hours, and it's really supposed to improve like hair density hair growth and just make your hair like overall super healthy and I could always use some of that so I love me some hair care recently I'm really trying to up my hair care game so I bought this and let me know like I said in Sephora if you guys have tried this brand and if you like it what else you recommend but it's like this little dropper guy and she's super cute and i actually ended up picking up the full size because they didn't have the mini size so that was kind of disappointing but i'm sure i'll like it i have a lot of thick hair so honestly the mini size probably would have lasted me a couple times anyways and i've heard so many good things about fable mate and especially this hair oil that i didn't mind getting the full size so yeah love this and the packaging is like really cute as well so this is another thing that i picked up and then next up i got a little lipstick this is so exciting this is from charlotte tilbury and this is like her new little lipstick line i think it's for valentine's day it was like giving me very like february vibes which i am a pisces and my birthday is next month so it was so fitting that i got something from her little like love collection love line i ended up getting the shade icon baby and i swatched it for you guys it was such a pretty like pinky nude color it was also like a hydrating lipstick as well which i love i have pretty dry lips and i'm not into like the matte these days like at all i love me a good gloss a good like lip oil so this was a hydrating little lipstick and as you guys saw the presentation of charlotte tilbury she just kills it every time like it just makes you want to buy like every single one of her products and i'm having such a hard time opening this right now i finally just opened it but first of all packaging actually stunning usually her lipsticks are in this like gold color but like i said this like little valentine's day little like love line that she just came out with is in this like really stunning like pinky rose gold color and oh my god this lipstick color is just to die for like this is the color right here like look how stunning that nude is and you guys saw me swatch it in person and i'm so excited i'm usually just like a lip liner and a lip gloss type of girly but you know it's always fun to experiment with lipsticks and like i said just the whole like packaging and the whole line was just so pretty i had to pick something up so i'm so excited for this so the last two things i have in here I've always wanted to try this from Rare Beauty. I've seen so many people talk about this. It's her little like comfort line. It has like a body spray, a body lotion, a hand cream. And if there's one thing about me, fun fact is I will be down for any hand cream. I'm always lotioning my hands. I'm always moisturizing them. I love the Caudalie one. I love Necessaire. I love like the normal drugstore brands too. Aveeno. I'm just a, such a sucker for body lotions and especially hand creams. Love the Aesop one too. So I just had to pick this up. I want to try it out for myself i've seen some people get like little pr packages from rare beauty and i'm so jealous this packaging is really cute it's in this like little triangle type of looking thing kind of looks like a rock honestly from far away but you just kind of open it up like this actually i don't even know how to open it let me see okay this packaging i just spent like two minutes off camera figuring this out because i don't know for some reason the one in sephora i didn't remember how it came on i probably have to look at the clips back open it like this and then you just squeeze it out like that apparently i thought this whole thing came off so good thing i didn't tug too hard but let's try a little on camera yeah this is definitely how you do it so kind of really cool packaging honestly so it smells super super good i will say and when you put it back it does kind of have some excess so just be careful kind of go like that but mm, it smells really really good it's very 
light scent it was $18 a little pricey I mean any hand lotion will do from the drugstore I wanted to give it a try it's called the fine comfort hydrating hand cream so super cute and it comes with 1.79 fluid ounces I wonder how much that compares to to my favorite Caudalie hand cream so yeah let me know if you guys have tried anything from her comfort line I've seen a couple people on my social media say the spray is really good the body spray I spray that in person as well but I honestly have enough sprays at home okay lastly from Sephora I got a little eyeshadow from the brand Merit this is a solo eyeshadow pan and it's in the shade mid-century I also swatched this in person so you guys saw but it's just like a eyeshadow it's basically like a cream to powder eyeshadow so I usually don't experiment with too many of those this little like like brown color a little bit more warm and I kind of just want to like brush this all over my eyes and blend it out I feel like this would be really pretty like for spring and summer because usually I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow I just put a little bit of bronzer on my crease so um, I thought this was kind of like a little bit of a step above bronzer like it's still like a brownie nude color but hopefully it's a little bit more pigmented and I don't know I just really like the brand Merit and I don't need a whole like eyeshadow like pan you know because like I said I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow so I love using bronzer and like these solo eyeshadow little singles so yeah Mary's such a good brand so I was like wanted to pick something up I haven't heard too many things about these eyeshadows but it's good to try new things without everything having to be like viral you know so that is everything I got from Sephora I feel like I got a good amount of things but nothing too crazy and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and coming along with me to Sephora and just seeing what's new at Sephora the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks were new and this rare beauty like comfort line is pretty new so yeah let me know what was your favorite thing you saw from this video or what you're interested in picking up at Sephora I would love to know any of your guys' recommendations and your must-haves and essentials. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram. It is always down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!